Thanks so much, Zach. Thanks so much, Ben. Pleasure to be here. Uh, great to meet everybody. My name's Meg. As Zach mentioned, I'm here with my colleagues, Willis and Mike. We're psyched to do a demo of our newest product. So we've been working on card issuance for a bit and time and time again, the same pain points would come up. We'd talk to customers and they would complain about how hard it is to get to market, how long it takes. And so we, we were totally hunkered down during COVID to make sure that we could build the, a developer first platform where everything is self-service. So Willis is gonna show you what it's like to get to market with a debit card program that you can design, build, launch, and scale all without talking to a salesperson. Over to Willis. So uh, for the sake of this demo, we're gonna assume Meg and I have uh, what we think is a really cool idea for a new card program. We wanna get it out into the market as quickly as possible. Uh, so we're gonna go through uh, the exact process you could go through in order to get something stood up and, um, and start testing with cardholders quickly to see if your idea has any legs. All right, and just so I don't expose anything, I'm going to grab my email verification link off screen. Put that in. So obviously we're gonna be dealing with people's, you know, some financial information. So we've got some pretty strong authentication we have to go through. All right, and so with that, we're signed up and we can start going through the process of testing and, uh, and getting something uh, out into the market. So probably the first thing you would do is pop in here, grab your API keys. Uh, there, if you have other people on your team that you wanna work with, uh, you know, you can pop in and add, add additional members. We're gonna skip over some of that just for, in the, for the sake of time. Um, but right now we have an empty account and, and we're in sandbox. So I think the first thing we want to do is just get a sense for what the, uh, cardholder experience is going to look like and how we get people signed up. There's a couple different ways to, to get that cardholder experience up and running. Um, for the sake of the demo, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, send mega text so that she can pull up a card or cardholder app and get started really quickly. All right. So now I'm going to start broadcasting from my phone here. I will show what it's like to receive that text message. Open the link, go to test flight, install the app. And as Willis mentioned, this speed to market solution really is us putting forth a onboarding flow that is compliant with the bank that uh, supports full KYC. This demo is, uh, oops, that was a practice run. <laughs> you can gra grab the link at the bottom. Right, link. Link. Let me delete this first. No demo goes flawlessly, right? So there we go. So this is gonna show what a cardholder signup flow looks like. I'm gonna put in my phone number. This is in Sandbox, so uh, we can just use fake data here. So even though this is sandbox, uh, you know this is the same experience that you know a potential cardholder could go through in the in the signup process in production. We're not going to do this in production just because of you know all the, the types of information that we have to put in. Um, but we take all this information and perform the KYC for that customer on the back end or for that cardholder on the back end. Provide the legal agreements, 
And then just like that, we're gonna be issuing a card. Back over to Willis. All right, so we're still in the same account here and we can see that we now have a card holder. If we want to do a bunch of uh, testing with different sort of patterns or, or different types of workflows, we can start adding test transactions. Uh, we can see the card that we issued to Meg here in Sandbox uh, and, and start really testing out what happens uh, at different points in the process. Uh, right now, I think what we're going to do is since we want to move quickly, we're going to go ahead and start our the process of getting into production. So if you have a lot of custom requirements, of course, we there are people that you can speak to about that, but we're going to take the off the shelf um, implementation here. And we're going to need a bunch of information to make it through the process. The first uh, of which is just sort of accepting the, the revenue uh, and the, the sort of cost structure agreement. So um, we, we charge a pretty standard um, set of fees for the card issuance and for anybody off the street, the interchange uh, split and revenue splits pretty generous. We're going to move ahead here. So on this screen, we got to put in some actual people. Uh, we have a KYB process that runs on the back end here. Uh, you are required to put in real numbers. This wouldn't pass if I actually ran through it. Yeah, who knows that that's not a real number. And then if there are any people who own a significant stake in the company, you need to list them out as well. We need to have contact information for your company. And at this point, it's gonna text me a verification code just to make sure that this is a real number and we can reach you if we need to. And so we've got a, a few more steps to go through. So um, we can take a look at what the card design is gonna look like. There's a couple off the shelf colors that you can choose from. Um, we're partial to the white one, so that's what we're gonna go with. If you have a logo, you can upload it here. Uh, you can see the back of the card image. Um, at this point, I'm gonna take the off the shelf stuff because again, I wanna move relatively quickly need to agree to a, a couple uh, terms and agreements. And then the last thing you do before submitting your, your production application is um, we ask companies to put up you know, $500 of what is essentially collateral into their account to make sure that uh, we know that they'll be able to pay for their, their bills and all that stuff. We're gonna skip over this step because again, I put in mostly fake data and, and we'll sort of pick the process back up um, it, with a production application or with a, with an account that's already in production. Thanks, Willis. So here I'm back in my Apto demo app. This is actually the card that I now have. It, the, the credentials are blocked out, but you can see the, the last four are consistent. And really we, enable everything from adding money to your account. We support ACH transfers in as well as debit card transfers. Uh, I have my debit card on file and so I can add money here. And uh, I think Ben Mill made the suggestion but the icing on the cake is really to show that this card is, is usable. So here you can see that it is deployed in my Apple Pay wallet and um, as a shout out to Iowa, I hear that Willis really likes Raygun and these red t-shirts that they make. And all I hear about is Kansas City barbecue. 
So we're gonna buy Willis a t-shirt here. Add to cart. I can confirm that that ranking is accurate. Oh, I'm gonna, oops. Check out. I think we're getting two. Hmm. They might need to do some work on their on their ecom cart. Just add it to cart again, I think. Still empty. There we go. Check out. I'm going to check out with Apple Pay, keep things easy. We're going to calculate the shipping method and then double click to pay. Doesn't work. And then we'll be able to go back to the app, refresh it, and we'll see the transaction appear there. So, all right. Thank you for the purchase. We'll come back over here. And there it is. Success. Back over to Willis. Okay. So we're going to pick this back up with the uh, the account that we have in uh, that's already in production, the same one that Meg's card was issued out of. And show you a few more things, uh, a few more details. So first thing is we can pop in here. We can see the transaction that Meg just performed using her card. Um, in, in keeping with our, our idea of what the, um, you know, that we're trying to get into market relatively quickly and, and test out um, and test out the, uh, the traction that we might get from customers. We're gonna go ahead and um, use one of our APIs. We have the ability to, to sort of move funds using uh, one of our APIs. There's a number of other endpoints that people can use. Um, you know, we, we have webhooks, a variety of other things that, that people can build upon. Uh, but this one's particularly interesting. So I've already got our authorization uh, information put in. Um, we've pulled the, the card holder or the card ID for Meg's card um, and our uh, internal funding account that we control. And we can um, go ahead and add $20 to her account that's basically you know, something you might do for a marketing incentive for people who complete their first purchase is you'll credit their card with $20. And then we get back the response um, about the card and the new total balance. We flip back over to the panel um, and refresh. You can also see that it's now in my app here. We can see that we added $20 to our balance. Um, and then hopefully we've, you know, created a customer for life here. Um, one other thing that I want to just sort of take a second to highlight. So the only thing that we really skipped over in this, do in this, uh, in this demo is, um, is the process of getting that app into our customer's hands. So, you know, at some point you're going to need to publish an app to the app store. And, and honestly, that is one of the things that takes the longest. There's two ways to, to get the app brought to life. You can uh, use our sort of more hands-on mobile SDK where you, where you build the experience yourself, um, or the, you can use the, our off the shelf, uh, experience, which is the one we showed today where you basically wrap it, put a splash screen on it and, and publish it to the app store as your own. Um, and it's linked to your account using the, the API keys that we showed you earlier. Uh, 